So this is a really interesting, uh, there's a couple of little carp holes here, there's a little crater in the bottom. Hmm. Definitely, definitely a couple of interesting spots. I'm just pulling a little bit of this crap off the bottom here, up against this uh, weed bed. This feels like a nice little patch. I'm gonna flick a rig on this tomorrow. And uh, I like this patch of weed. Just give it a little dust off. Feels clear here, so I think. A little bit of stuff there. I can just, literally wants to sit just off that. A really, really good tip is always make sure you fix the holes in your waves before you go fishing. Okay, well, I'm building a bit of a plan now. So I've just had a little rake in the, the middle swim, which is the swim that I fished earlier on with the bread, uh, where there were definitely carp there. Um, so what I've done there is I've just had a little rake on the right-hand side, cleared a bit of weed, and there was a reed hanging across. I've got him out of the way. So I've got a line now just to plop a bait down there and another spot straight in front in the weed. And I've just dropped into this little poke hole. It's one of the swims, but it doesn't look like it gets fished a lot and there are some lovely holes just out in front didn't need to do any raking i could feel with my feet that the bottom was well worked they like it here this is just all rock hard and gravelly so what i'm going to do is put a bit of bait in here put a bit of bait in next door and then fish the third one right up the other end and then this gives me a couple of options for tomorrow for stalking and also maybe for a second night tomorrow night i might drop in here at least i've got something a bit of a plan to work on which is i think a good tactic anyway time to get back to swim and get some rods in the water